Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. Come on in. Sorry about this angle, but I've finally found a way to get my camera up so that you guys can see me. So yeah, apologies about the angle. Today we'll be showing you five different ways to style biker shorts or how I style biker shorts, I should say. I absolutely love biker shorts. They're such an easy thing to wear. They're such an easy thing to dress up, dress down, everything in between. And I thought I would just show you five different ways that you may wear them. You can always tweak them, alter them, all that kind of jazz. But without further ado, let's just do this. And please let me know about this angle. It's so hard because my apartment just doesn't have rooms long enough unless we're in the kitchen. And I'm like, I don't really want my kettle and my toaster in the background. So hopefully this is okay. If not, please let me know. And again, I will try my hardest to, to change it. Also, if you can hear traffic and whatnot, I've had to open the window. Every time I film like a styling video, a try on haul, anything that involves me getting changed, I always seem to pick really, really hot days. So I am really looking forward to winter and doing winter styling videos of like cardigans and layers and just not having to have the window open and dripping to sweat. But without further ado, because I do, I do bubble, let's just get into it. Right, hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm fingers crossing you can. I will be doing, like I did last time, the close-ups here as well. First outfit, and frankly, this is an outfit I wore quite a few times during the summer, and it's easily gonna be something that I can transition and wear like in winter as well. And it is definitely something you can wear like on a night out if you don't like wearing trainers or if you don't if you go places that you can't wear trainers which that's not my vibe you can always add heels onto this but it is basically bike shorts obviously these ones are from boohoo they are just plain ones with a bandeau black bandeau this one is from asos the blazer is like the puff it's like the staple it's the thing that people look at it is from primark it is definitely one of my most worn and important pieces in my wardrobe i love this like blazer jacket thing they came out with it last year or was it the year before it's been a while and i've had it all that time i absolutely love it i wish they would come out with it again and in black and in white possibly a blue maybe a lilac just primark if you ever see this please bring this jacket back it's amazing <laughs> um i paired it with some like neon um nike air force ones i basically added my bag which is just like a little ysl one obviously you don't need to get a ysl to do this but it's like a long crossbody one and i've just tied it up in a knot and just kind of wearing it almost as like a fanny pack i just think this looks quite Cool. I like this. This is pro honestly probably one of my favorites. I think it's just really simple. Like I said, you can add just like a little slinky black, like barely there heel, and you've just got a dressy up outfit as well. But I absolutely love this one. And then my hoops, I want to say, are from like Misguided or River Island or something. My necklace is just a little mini Playboy one, and that is from ASOS Marketplace. But yeah, this is outfit numero uno. Right, this next one's giving me like super, I should be down south in Texas, like, vibes. <laughs> um, this is again, I this is kind of like my vibe anyway. Biker shorts, a crop top and like an oversized jacket, shirt, cardigan, something like that. So this is one of my favorites. So again, these are the plain black biker shorts that I have from Boohoo. This crop is from Fashion Nova. The bra gives it like a little bit of a detail as well. This bra is from Primark, I wanna say. The shirt is a pretty little thing. And then these shoes are Buffalo. I got them from ASOS. Um, and I just put my hair up with like two fringes down because this is probably how I would wear this. You can wear the sleeves all the way down. You can roll them, you can roll them up more. I kind of like just like the, the one roll I wish I only had one more. Um, but yeah, this is like super like chilled, casual vibe. The shoes are very heavy and they're almost like platformy. So I think that they kind of add a little bit more edge to it. The necklace I'm wearing is a very, very old. It doesn't even look like it was ever gold at any point. It says baby girl and it was from Forever 21. And then my earrings, I want to say are like ASOS misguided that kind of thing um but yeah and then if you like your arms which i don't so i'm not gonna do this you can always just take the shirt off tie it around the waist as well 
And then you have an outfit. This is just, I just like simple stuff. I like simple fashion, simple outfits. Just, I like to buy loads of basics, like basic, basic crops, basic biker shorts, and then just add like a layer on top. That's just my vibe, it's my fashion. It's just what I like doing. So this is the other outfit. This one is definitely a favorite. Um, I'm obsessed, like ridiculously obsessed with this. So it is basically like a super, what is it called? Like sports looks, they're kind of vibe, leisure wear. Um, the jumper is from Nike. If you literally cannot tell, it has branded it to within an inch of its life. I got it from ASOS maybe about two years ago. These biker shorts are a pretty little thing and they're actually um, ribbed, so they're a little bit more like fancy, if that's what you want to go for. Um, I've got like little frilly socks with these as well, just to add a little bit of something to it. Socks always look weird on me when I've got my bare legs out. I think it's because I'm they're quite they're quite chubby, so I think it kind of looks like it's just cut in circulation. It's not. I'm okay. <laughs> but yeah, the frilly socks are from New Look, and then the trainers are Pumas. I got them in at the sale from Office. If you watch my recent haul, you would have seen plugging myself shamelessly um and then i just got some bamboo earrings which i think i just got from arndale market but this is kind of just like a really really easy one for me i absolutely just love it um i feel really comfortable in it and then i kind of paired my hair half up half down i'm not a hair person if you're here for hair tips really don't I, that's not my forte <laughs> but i just think half up half down kind of adds that sport looks thing but yeah this is the next one i know i keep saying it but this one actually is my favorite one i've been so excited to film this video to show you guys this outfit because i have never felt more comfortable sexy night out chilling me in my life before i wore this outfit it is so just so nice and i, I just really love it like this is i feel the most absolute comfortable and I'm like on top of the world basically. The top is one that I featured in the mom jeans one as well. It is from the brand Cole and Terry. And I tried to find it then and I just, I don't think they do it anymore, but it basically just says Yves Saint Laurent, Saint Laurent Paris. People always laugh at how I say Laurent, but I like to say every, word, every letter in a word. Um, but yeah, I'm sure you can find these on like Etsy or Depop or something maybe. These shorts are a pretty little thing and they're more ribbed. So again, they're a bit more like sexy, a bit more, you know, put together than like a basic one. Of course you can wear a basic one if you want. And then I've just got thigh high heeled boots. These are from New Look. You can go in with like a flat boot if you prefer, a more chunkier boot, a colored boot, like a nice gray would be really nice if you went for like a gray top as well. And then I have some black sunglasses. These ones are just from Gucci. I got them from Vista Village. So they were literally like 50% off. And if you know me, you know I love Gucci. So I had to do it. But honestly, like I cannot rave about this outfit enough. I feel just so, comfortable i feel so dressed up at the same time like this is an ideal outfit for me i just feel so much more comfortable in biker shorts either like an oversized tee like this or like a jacket i just feel really really just me right so for this final one we need to just address the fact that yes my denim shirt has not been ironed and that's okay because you and i were friends and you don't judge, and I don't judge. <laughs> this is kind of similar to the one that I mentioned earlier, where it was kind of like, just put on a pair of heels, which I have done. These are just little black strappy ones that I got from Primark, like barely there ones. I absolutely adore these. Please, again, something we do not judge is the fact that my feet are not fit timed, <laughs> but everything else is. Um, but yeah, this is just kind of like a, oh, last minute brunch with the girls or planned brunch with the girls because yes i still would wear this like three months in advance this is the outfit i would still choose um because it's still quite casual in case you go shopping after brunch which again is something i have done um, and then i just kind of like styled it up a little bit more obviously with the heels a little bit of a nicer bag more of a statement earring as opposed to a hoop the shirt is from river island and it's got a slit on the side and it's actually got a slit down the back as well which again is something that I feel 
adds a little bit of, you know, a little bit of class, a little bit of class to a good old denim shirt. These are the Boohoo plain biker shorts and, and then the Fashion Nova crop top. Like I said, the shoes are Primark. The bag is YSL and the, sh the earrings I'm pretty sure are Forever 21. But yeah, I thought it's just a little bit more dressed up as opposed to the other one which was a lot more casual again like i said you could dress that one up but i think this one straight away is kind of dressy cash again something that i love and then i've just got two pieces of hair down and then just a low ponytail but yeah this is the final outfit so then guys that is it for this styling video i hope you guys enjoyed this i know that so many of you enjoyed my last styling video if you haven't seen it i will link it down below it is how i style mom jeans i have really really enjoyed doing these again please let me know what the angle's like because i am trying to work on it so it's the best for you and i hope you guys enjoyed this and i can't wait to do some autumn ones with like cardigans and layers and i'm, re I'm just really, really excited so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did then please give it a thumbs up don't forget to comment share and subscribe to my channel and until next time i'll see you guys very very soon bye